morning guys fresh Sunday morning um, as you can see the cars looking particularly cold but this is why I'm on my uh, winter coat my jumper um, gonna go off to Morrison's for breakfast um, funny enough I was talking to somebody about this the it's about three weeks ago because uh, with the lockdown I like to <laughs> I like to go to Morrison's on a Sunday and the uh, person who started all that was probably Van Gogh because he used to mention the go there with his daughter years ago um, there's a bit of a routine while his missus, ex-missus went shopping I sort of said well I don't know why you take her shopping, it's your time do what you want so then he started going swimming but I started you know knowing there was a Sunday breakfast or a weekend breakfast so if I'm having a I don't know late night or um, like today it's freezing I go there for an English breakfast have a full fry up um, not every day it's a calorie bomb at the best of times um, but I do like heading there and since the lockdown um, I've got to admit the day of lockdown was lift, lifted I was there one of the one of their first customers if not customer number three anyway um, gonna do a little bit of an update today a little bit different gonna go and have some breakfast and we're gonna go and see mr. Doc Martin and not Doc Martin from Bodmin, um, Doc Martin Shoes. So I'll be back. So, so we're at Morrison's now. This is exciting, riveting stuff for the morning, but I know a lot of you guys ain't been out lately, but Morrison's great for a Sunday breakfast. Uh, just gonna head in, I'll have to shove my mask on, which is conveniently <laughs> color coded with my jacket and my jumper. Not intentionally. All right, see you in a minute. All right, guys. So I'm fueled. The car's fueled, and um, just going to head over now to Doc Martin's. Bit of a shout out for Gail and her hubby. Um, I believe they're big fans of um, big fans of Doc Martin. So I'm hoping the place is open because obviously this lockdown stuff affected everything well lately. So fingers crossed. And so here we are at uh, Doc Martin's. Dr. Martins, um, uh, I think it's pretty cold here. Look at look at the state of the cobwebs. It's um, minus one today. Um, so yeah, we're gonna have a walk around. I don't think there's gonna be any visitor centre or anything open, but I'll see what I can see. But it was quite a nice little place. This very villagey. So let's have a look. Now, I assume that's the main factory down there, but one of the problems is can't get in there. All this seems to be sort of shut down, whether that's COVID or whether it's Sunday, no idea. We'll take a look up at the shop. All right, guys. Well, there's only the little shop open, um, and to be honest, there's already a queue of about 20 people. Not being lazy, I've actually already ordered shoes and stuff for home delivery, so... It's minus one outside. I don't want to stand out in the cold for 20 minutes to go in there. Um, not really. If it was a um, out of town sort of shopping centre sort of size, I would do. But it's quite a small um, outlet. Um, so not a lot to see, unfortunately. But I might see if I can find another one of their stores. But, uh, let me see if we can find somewhere else. As you can see, someone's just walked. Well, you probably can't because that foggy. Someone's just bought three pairs of shoes. Um, but yeah.
Guys, I'm already back. Um, just a little bit of a joke with the wife because she wanted me to go to the factory shop because I said, oh, I could go one of the retail. No, the factory shop's better. It has the other stuff, the stuff that they don't sell elsewhere, all that sort of conversation. It's like, okay, I'm already here, so I'll go in. Um, now, first thing I want to say is there's huge savings by going there. I don't, <laughs> don't want to be like sale on type thing, but... Um, the shoes I'll show you now, because um, as I said in the video, I've actually ordered some shoes for April as well. So I've, I don't even want to say how much I've spent in that store in the last week. Um, but if I'd gone here, um, originally I'd have saved probably maybe 200 pounds. Um, because obviously it's Christmas, preparing for the big Christmas. So first thing is, they do these Doc Martin bags. They're five pence, um, and all the money goes to charity. So that's maybe of interest to you, because one of the things I do find with my wife and a lot of Filipino women is they like the shopping bags, because they, especially if they're unique brands from overseas or something, it's a bit of a travel thing. Um, so here's the first. Just want to point out these are not for me. <laughs> um, these are for Zoe. So Zoe's got some new Doc Martins. Uh, it's even glittering on the on the camera. So these are normally seventy pounds, and I got them for twenty nine. So really good quality. As I mean, the world famous Doc Martins, and they're big in the Philippines. I mean, it, my wife about to tell you they're a big shoe, not literally, but they're they're what they're famous there. Um, Get, Gail may be able to put some comments below on how popular they are. Um, so, these are Zoe's. As you probably guessed, she does like bright colours. I did like the, the black ones, but I thought they looked a bit like uh, there's like a black um, school shoe style, you know, it's just lower cut. Um, but I thought they might be a bit like the. It just reminded me of the woman who tap dances on Rocky Horror Show. It just put me off it. But yeah, so we like bright colours. These will be perfect for Christmas. This is another one, 20, 29 pounds that will normally retail at 70. So 41 pounds savings per shoe. Well, not per shoe, per set of shoes. Shoes. Um, so yeah, definitely recommend the visit. I'm probably going to go back once the rest of it's open because uh, I'm sure you must be able to see more at the factory than uh, the shop. But even just that trip, that I probably see £82 saving compared to retail. Um, so yeah, definitely worth a visit. Um, it's not far from Northampton. It's about 16, 16 to 20 minutes drive. Um, big car parking space. Um and the, the roads weren't too bad either. It's quite a straight run. And then it's a little windy village bit was quite nice as well. Um, so that's my trip to Doc Martens today. Thanks for watching. Um, if you like the video, thumbs up, subscribe, even better comment. Thanks for watching.